Hello friends, today we're going to be solving problem one from number theory, George E. George e. Andrews. This is section 2-1. The problem goes as follows. Without assuming theorem 2-1, which is just Euler's division lemma, prove that each pair of integers j, k are integers. If there exists some q, so we're being asked that there exists some q that's also an integer. Also k in this case is k greater than zero. Some integer q for which we end up with j minus qk is positive. So this is what the question asks. And we're going to prove that right now. So first things first, let me erase this. We're actually going to prove this by contradiction. So good etiquette says you do what you're saying, proof by contradiction. So we're going to say, suppose not. That is, so in this case, we're going to say that for all, that there is no integer q in the integers such that j minus qk is positive. <clears throat> so since the initial asked us just to prove that there is one, the negation of that is to say that there isn't a single one, that you can't find a single integer in Q. So now we're going to set about showing this is a contradiction. Since we know, since we're, I'm writing that there exists none it's simple enough to at least find one example to disprove the contradiction. So in this case, we're going to say let Q equal to negative J minus one. This is an integer because integers are contained both between scalar multiplication and they're also closed within addition. So this should still be an integer, even if it's in a weird little format. So now we have to break this down into cases. Case one, we'll say J is positive. In this case, J, it's J minus the absolute value of J. Yeah, J minus one, but well plus one, yeah minus one plus k. This is j plus j k plus k. Now these are all positive integers. Even if well because k has to be greater than zero. So k is clearly positive. So positive, positive, positive. There's no real way to get a negative value. So this is just self-evident. This is clearly positive. There's no other way to go about it. Because it's a positive value plus a positive value plus a positive value. And since the integers are enclosed under addition, it's still an integer and it's a positive integer. So hopefully that made sense. Now let's go for case two. In this case, we're going to say J, nope, case two, J is actually a negative value. So we end up with J plus the absolute value of J, K. I'm just gonna already write this out distributed plus K. And since we know that K, hold on, let me stop there for a second. 
since we know that k is greater than zero, this implies that j plus the absolute value of k is either equal to or greater than zero. This is because the lowest value that k could possibly be is in fact just one. And so this would just be the, you would just be adding negative j plus j and any value aside from one would clearly be greater than zero. And even at zero, you would just cancel this out and this would just be k, which is again, greater than zero. So that implies that both, that this is both positive and an integer, which shows in which case we've reached a contradiction because we were trying to disprove this, that for all Q integers of, there is no integer such that J minus QK is positive, but we of course said Q is equal to this, negative of course, negative J, negative absolute value of J minus one. So the contradiction is being enriched. The contradiction is false. So its contradiction is true. If there's any questions or something that needs to be clarified in this mathematical proof, feel free to comment in the comment section. If there are any problems you would like me to solve, say from another book, worksheets, homework, or just something you're curious about, feel free to let me know in the comment section as well. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a nice day.